I think if I did that, maybe I'd go with like a mohawk. I don't know if you can mix it up, but try to... I think you have to shave everything. Oh, all right. Hey, Facial Paul hair, Logan. too. Okay. Let's yeah. get right into it, though. Uh, short hair will be pretty good for you coming up this week because we're going to have some pretty warm temperatures. Here's a nice shot of Taos Ski Valley. We've got some boarders and skiers up there. Let's get... There we go. Starts going. Uh, but a very, very nice day. Temperatures were right about 60 degrees in Taos, so very, very nice. And we're going to continue with this trend of pretty good weather for most of the week. As we look at satellite radar, we see a little bit of clearing. We had some high clouds yesterday, and then we'll have some more as we get into the next couple of days. But none of these clouds will be threatening. Uh, it's going to be pretty nice. It's actually going to be real nice, real nice, Clark. Uh, that's a uh, Chevy Chase, of course, and Randy Quaid. Uh, it's going to be very, very nice for most of the week. Whatever happened to that Randy Quaid? I think he's hiding in Canada somewhere. But well, High Pressure Ridge is going to keep us pretty calm, as you can see, kind of keeping the storm track way to our north. But that'll start to change by the time we get to Wednesday. And unfortunately, it's going to mean more wind for us. Our high does shift off to the east. We get a nice trough start digging down into the uh, Pacific Ocean there, and that is going to really strengthen our winds Wednesday and beyond. Not a lot of moisture with this thing yet, but it is going to bring increased fire danger. So as we can see, these areas in red, that's where we've been very, very dry. Uh, so I expect red flag warnings as we get into the middle of the week. We do have some going on right now until about 6 p.m., but uh, we'll have to keep that in mind Wednesday, Wednesday and beyond. We are seeing a storm system, uh, this same storm system, try to get some moisture going, and we could get some storm activity Friday on the eastern side of the state, and then again uh, Saturday and Sunday into Monday. But models are really iffy on this thing. They were throwing down a lot of moisture yesterday and they've changed quite a bit today, so we're going to have to wait and see, and we'll get some more information as we get closer to the weekend. 66 degrees right now in Albuquerque. Winds aren't too bad. Northwest at 15 miles per hour. That was a picture of the Bosque behind us. That is still very dry, so we need to keep that in mind as far as fire weather. Temperatures pretty good in your Sunday evening. 59 in Cortez, 64 in Tucumcari, 81 down in Roswell, and 61 in Rio Doso, and 74 in Socorro. Let's do the numbers. Northwest New Mexico, a great few days for you guys, and even as we get into the rest of the week, not all that bad. 60 for Durango, near 70 in Farmington. A little breezy out there, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. A shot at snow for Durango, a mix of rain and snow Thursday. And then again Saturday into Sunday. Farmington, your chance of precipitation will be well into next week. And it's not looking all that great yet, but things could change. Taking a look at southwest New Mexico, sunny, nice, and breezy. Temperatures are just perfect, especially in T or C. 75 degrees, 76 in Socorro. Same story in Las Cruces. Over in the southeastern part of the state, some clouds, breezy tomorrow. Could see 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. 68 in Portales, 70 in Roswell, 72 in Carlsbad, 58 in Cloudcroft. Take a look at the seven day forecast in Roswell. Look at these temperatures go up. Wow near 90 degrees by Thursday. It's probably be a little bit cooler than that, but it is definitely going to be in the mid to upper 80s by the middle of the week, and winds are going to be kicking. So Roswell will be uh, one of those ground zero spots for fire weather. So we need to keep that in mind. Partly cloudy and southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour in the northeast. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 60s for the most part over in northern New Mexico. Partly cloudy and breezy. Beautiful day up there. 56 in Angel Fire, mid 60s in Santa Fe and Los Alamos, and 57 degrees in Chama. Taos at 63. 70 forecast in Santa Fe shows a warming trend. We'll be at near 70 by Wednesday. Winds will start kicking there as well, and then we'll start introducing some chances, hopefully, for some uh, rain and snow as we get into the uh, end of the week and next weekend, but it's looking more like Sunday into Monday. And as the East Mountains show, mostly sunny and breezy tomorrow, near 70 degrees for just about all of us, except Edgewood, which will be in the mid-60s, and Mountain Air, 68 degrees. In downtown Albuquerque, very, very nice temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s, a great start to your week. And as you see, it's only going to get better. Temperatures will warm up by the middle of the week, but unfortunately, with the good comes the bad. More wind by Wednesday and beyond. Okay, thank you, Ian. Ahead in prime time at 60 minutes. Then at 7 o'clock, it's The Amazing Race. At 8 o'clock, it's Undercover Boss. CSI Miami airs tonight at 9. Then stay tuned for KRQB News 13 at 10. Don't go away. Lawrence Gilligan is in next.